Hello and welcome back to Diablo 3. I'm Koops, and in with me as normal are Junos and Zarin. Hello! Hi. We have made it to the end game. We finally hit level 70. First thing that's important about the end game is we have we still have an experience bar that has been replaced by Paragon. Uh, it's effectively a big log uh, exponential leveling curve. Uh, the higher your your Paragon number is the higher, or the more difficult it is to get another, another level. Uh, and then when we open that pane, we can see that these things, these points can be spent on various things. Uh, I've gone ahead and spent all of these points already. Uh, in the offense, defense, and utility sides, you can only spend up to a maximum of 200 points. But it's very much possible to go above uh, Paragon 800, and at that point, all your points go into core, which you can pump into strength or vitality or whatnot. Uh, movement speed is kind of important. I have only 15% in it, because I have some percentage on my boots. The maximum movement speed you can get is 25% from, from items or Paragon points. With, with an asterisk. Yeah. There's always things that can increase it beyond that. And another fellow we've kind of neglected to, uh, to mention is, uh, is Covetous Shen here. He can do some important work for us, like uh, like combining gems that we find on the ground into bigger gems. Uh, one thing that they have fixed, not so much recently, but it's a problem that was there in the base game. Uh, when you combine gems, uh, it would have this cast bar every time you combine them. Like, each one individually would be combined, and it'd be a long queue system, and it would take a long time. So they've replaced that now, and you can craft as many as you want at any given time. For the low, low price of one cast bar. Yes. And, uh, I think we have to go through area gate. Alright, so last I knew... I think last time we had, uh, Leah murder a whole bunch of people. Mm-hmm. And nobody cared. I did. Bastion's Keep stands tall. Now I go to the battlefield, where Asmodan's war machines bombard our scattered soldiers. I wish we had a trebuchet out front, just because. Well, outside of your home. I mean, how- yeah! Tell me that wouldn't be awesome! <laughs> be very intimidating. So I think uh, the plan here, right, Koobs, is we uh, we have all crafted ourselves a set of yellow level 70 gear, uh, just to kind of try out and play with uh, some different skills. Uh, we're gonna go through and and as we acquire things in the ground, we'll be using those. Yes, exactly. Kind of give the uh, kind of give the experience of uh, playing through for a fresh 70, and then uh, moving forward from there. Oh, we're not gonna talk to this guy, okay? Uh, the fortified bunker here is just a optional dungeon. There's nothing really worthwhile inside of it. Sergeant Pale, he could be worthwhile. Thank the gods you're here. You've got to destroy those ballistic. They're raining hell down upon us. We can't last much longer. He's very judging, isn't he? Well, you two can just sit there and judge each other hours at a time. Alright, I'm following the, uh... I am having some FPS problems in this area. Yeah, I am as well. Are, are you moving? I am I moving, indeed. Are you, are you sure? Yes. Honestly... No, it's it's not lag, it's just FPS. Nah. Um, this difficulty is like, we're destroying this shit. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a little more difficult, considering the gear. Yeah, like, yellows, I mean, I know we... Well, no, we have Paragon points, which probably help a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, it helps a lot of it. I did some, I did some testing on my own in Torment 2. About the point where it's like a reasonable amount of time to kill things still. Alright. You must be the hero I've been hearing so much about. Well, you have my thanks. We couldn't have made it through this without you. He has the same condescending look. So, especially in Act 3, they're like even. My system tends to slow down. It's not the most modern system, but this game is pretty well optimized, except for zones like this and some other places in later Act Three. I'm doing just a little event to... here. Yeah, it's not this man. The fire. This I'm game. Computers hate this game's fire. Yeah, this. 
I guess he just follows us as well. Okay. Now we're, we've already made it to the bridge of Kosik. Kors? Korsik? Korsik. Korsik. Corset? Okay, the bridge of Corset. Which oh, is. There are things definitely happening with the FES in this area. Yeah, I'm getting the same thing, it's not just you. Oh, and these, uh. These things on the ground, they're like mines. Except they build, they explode on the trigger. There was the first of the ballistae, I guess. So anyway, uh, as I was trying to build the Switch Doctor here, it seemed, uh... I couldn't find any good nukes, so I have bears explode out of my body instead. This is completely normal and fine. Of course. The bear raid will be, will be most pleased about this. At least they're, they're pointing... They're pointing in the right direction, which is away from me. Not enough wrath. I got a couple pets following me around because I'm lazy. Oh my god, how many bears are you shooting? I've just seen waves of yeah, them. Yeah, I can do it non-stop. I took a bunch of talents that'll, uh, the, the beefed my, uh, mana regen. They're just, like, pulsing out of you. Yeah, the beef my- if you want to stop here, we can- we can show off some bears. He, he's the oh, other direction. Shit. I was following the wizard. I have so many pets, I don't know. I have a pet, his name is Guard of the Keep. Oh. So for uh, for pet classes, it's actually kind of a good thing. Um, you will always get like a little icon or something up where the guard of the keep is, telling you what their health is. Uh, if you have multiple pets of the same style, I don't exactly remember how their health is displayed. They'll tell you how many there are. It's just a single, yeah, it's just a single bar, and I'm not sure if it splits the damage pretty evenly or really how it works. I think it might show you just the lowest one. Have some bears, guys. There goes that ballista. Yeah, you guys seem to be killing things much faster than I am. Well, see, not, we're not wearing a shield. At least I'm not wearing a shield anymore, right? Shield is pretty okay. Also, you're playing Crusader in this expansion, or this this patch. Just saying. Yes, this expansion when Crusaders are released. Yeah. I got some legendary boots. And before Firewalkers. They are not. Uh, I might have to re retract that statement, but I don't think they're Firewalkers. Not enough wrath. Shh, don't tell them. No, we're breaking it. Oh. I'll repair it with bears. My bear mechanics. My siege weapons to slay you. You stand in the middle of the army of hell. It will crush you. I cast your armies from the walls of the keep. I destroy them upon the open field. You have nothing that I fear. Yeah, you just told him off, he just fucked right off. Told him what's up. Apparently the General of Hell had not can uh, had not counted on a sassy anime princess. Though truly- Like, oh god, I hate anime, I'm out of here. <laughs> truly, who does count on that, right? Oh, yellow. Oh boy, here we go. We got this. this guy wants to talk to us. Oh, hello, How do you beat us here? Like you just sprint, like nonstop. He uses angel <laughs> wings clearly. Get, um, there was a cutscene about that, I think. I could no longer sit idly by while you brought the fight to Asmodan. It has been too long since I felt the thrill of battle myself. Destroying my siege weapons makes little difference. Every hour, more of my forces pour forth from the mouth of hell. Soon, they will wipe your pathetic keep from existence. Brave words, Asmodee. 
to Dan, but words are all you have left to hurl at us. Forward, friend. Now we shall drive Asmodan's army back into the accursed crater. Let's hope that sword was worth the sacrifice. Forward! Wait, what sword? What sword was worth the sacrifice? What? Huh? I, I, yes. I'm so lost right now. What, did you get some loot that you're holding back on us? Crusader lady, is that what's going on? I require more uh, oh, I haven't identified those boots yet. Those firewalkers, you mean? Yeah. I'm gonna do that right now while my FPS is dipping because of all the bullshit in the background. <laughs> They're iron to a mud spit. Oh, okay. You are sure, right? I'll put them on. Did you actually look at an upgrade? They are an upgrade, yes. Mostly because they have more numbers to them. Oh, that's true. My wrath is low. So going to the edge of the abyss, which I mean, kind of think there's a lot of edges of abysses right here. If you kind of look off the edge. Bridge here? I'm not I like how they made it a bridge to the mouth of hell. I'm just a scout. I was supposed to survey the battlefield from this tower along with my lieutenant, but we were attacked. I still have the spyglass here. Please take it to my lieutenant. I don't know how long you'll be able to hold out up there. Yeah, let's take it. It's just like a few feet away, right? Private James. Private James, yes. I suppose it's nice they didn't go for the obvious, uh... The obvious, uh... Uh... Pop culture reference there. Oh, Molten. Time to go. Summoning bears on this is very amusing. Griffith. Uh, hello. What happened to the scout? Is he still alive? He is gravely injured. You will have to go on alone. I see. Thank you for the news. I will tell his family. Go on to where? Like, literally, nowhere else to go. Let, let me come down. I'll, I'll come down off this watchtower. I'll go past the guy that's injured, and then I'll go tell his family about it. You know, I'm not going to help him on the way. No. Oh, where'd he go? No, he's just a red pile. So, oh. Uh... Uh, Maybe yeah. one of us should have stayed back and guarded his ass. Witch doctor. No, no, no. Nope, the witch doctor definitely. <laughs> no. Nice waypoint. I wand off this bridge. I mean, I, I really want to know what they kept at the end of this bridge before it became a mouth to hell. Like, was it just like best tourist attraction in the area? It was just this big old bridge. It's some sort of it's some sort of make work project by the guys in the keep. They're just like, look, you know what? You guys just sitting around all day, you just want to drink and shit? No, 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 you're gonna go build, you're gonna go build something. The, uh, I'm not sure who was in charge of this keep before, before we got here. You gotta look on the other side here, real quick. Oh, we just got some fire chains, that's good. Some fire chains. Yeah, blocking our way, except they're not blocking our way. Free gear, I guess. Yeah, it's some free things to s not so much sell, but. So what's at the edge of the abyss? <laughs> the demon gate, of course. Oh, okay. Is that a train? Looks like a train. <laughs> yep. Can you suplex the train? That train? looks like a train. I mean, it looks like it looks like the front of a train. Like, I'm not. I'm not even some sort of train autist. Uh. Cutscene's not even happening. No, it's not. Uh... Boobs, what's going on? What you on? do? <laughs> why, why does this always happen? What is going on? Did it lag out, or is it just... No, I'm still here! Well, we're... We're all having this problem, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I got I got the black bar. It's like, something's gonna happen here, but we're just kind of standing here like, huh, somebody cut the front off a train and just put it here in our way. Eldruin will destroy the demonic seal protecting this gate.
Hello, Siege Breaker Assault Beast. <laughs> See, he's the living siege engine of hell. Oh, he's dead already. I didn't even get to throw. I have a bear. Dick. <laughs> yeah, we need to turn the difficulty well, up. Rather underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, can I we got turn this. the difficulty up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the lady. Siege Breaker Assault Beast isn't the most threatening of bosses, but he does have a few abilities that are worth mentioning. First off is his football spike grab type attack. You can use defensive cooldowns while he has picked you up, but you cannot attack or anything like that. Uh, this football spike will do a ton of damage on higher difficulties. It's not too bad on the Torment 2 that I was recording this on. Another thing that is of note is that he will summon these worms, which will summon more adds constantly. You can attack the worms, but he will just summon more every 33% of his HP. Generally, it's not worth dealing with the worms, it's just better to focus all of your efforts directly into Siege Breaker. And the only other thing of note is he has a charge, which you can do from across the room if you've gone off and attacked the worm somewhere. It doesn't do the most amount of damage, so it's not too threatening. And that's all for Siege Breaker Assault Beast. Hello, Adria. I come with urgent news. Leah has had another vision. A vision of twisted demonic towers and enormous hearts beating within them. I know of them. They are the Sin Hearts. Asmodan must have dredged them up from the depths of his realm to empower his legions. I'll stop his hearts and his legions then. The Demon Gate is shattered, and the armies of Hell await, empowered by vile Sin Hearts. I will slay them all, until only the Lord of Sin remains. And then, I will slay him too. You've killed one of my playthings. Now... You have my undivided attention. And after a spell hiatus, we're back on Torment 4. We'll see how this works. Two whole difficulties higher. We can bump it down if it's too bad, which it may very well be, but... Maiden of Lust, I have need of your ample services. Drag yourself out of whatever carnal corner of the burning hells you lounge in, and bring your daughters with you. Be wary. I require more wrath. The enemy has proven to be both cunning and strong. But the mortals have always been easy prey for you, have they not? So we're on the we're on the journey to find uh find my waifu. I'm right That's what here. We're doing here. No, no, no not you. fucking here. No, the pretty one. Hey. The, the one that was talking to us earlier. Sidea, that was her name. I think he's been enchanted by, by a succubus or something. No, no, she's thing. not a succubus. God, don't say this horrible thing. She's a very beautiful lady. Why are you such an asshole? I can't wait to meet her. We're going the wrong way, by the way. Almost guaranteed. But that creature must die. Oh, okay, well, let's kill him, then. Fucking wall. Bear time. Yeah, now we're getting some hot love bear action here. Can't see him very well, but there's bears. I promise you. I assure you the bears are happening. Well, they were. So I ran out of mana. <laughs> well then. Uh, let's go the correct way, I guess. Yeah, that's where well, maybe this is the right way. Let's keep going. Is it the right way? I don't know. I kind of doubt it, but... Which direction is the right way? No one shall know. We've been going for an awfully long time. I can't believe this is the wrong way at this point. I'm used to this map being laid out differently, I guess. That's all. This man looks friendly. It's going to be, like, the worst dead end. That was... Hmm. <laughs> he looks friendly. He's a little too friendly, if you ask me. I may have to do oh, something about that. I may have to do something about that damage. Oops. But, um, this is quite literally. The, uh, this type of map is the worst work. thing you can have for lag in this game. Because of all the background effects going on, the fire. 
it just tends to kill FPS on some PCs. Some. By some you mean all. Sure. I'm sure somebody would like a fucking enormously powerful PC does not have a trouble here. And there's the end. Wow. Oh good, we made it to a dead end. Well, that's kind of surprising actually, it usually doesn't dick you that bad. Oh, oh, go, I oh, No, go in there, go in there, it's safe. Ah, oh, a ring. No. It's orange. <laughs> Let's learn about my orange ring. That way, this will be the best orange ring ever. It is actually a really good orange ring, holy shit. Okay, I'll take that. I guess now is a good time right. to talk about that type of... I don't know. I don't know. Link it. Uh, didn't Link in Guild Chat? I don't know. Oh, right. I'll uh, link it. So, uh, I need to kill these these obelisk type deals. There you go. I have a rank. No. Yeah, there's a thing. It doesn't do me much good because of all the percentages on it, but what can you do? It doesn't do much good, but. Uh, when you see legendaries that have a nice border going around them like that, in comparison to, like, normal legendaries, uh, those are ancient legendaries, which are a 10% chance on top, or a 10% ch chance to drop, sorry, uh, on top of just having a legendary drop. Uh, I think they roll with something like 10 to 20% higher, uh, base stats on Ooh, them. Ooh, I think it's higher than that, even. Cause it might be 25. I know the low end, the low end for a stat will be higher than the high end of a non-ancient item. But generally, it's pretty much another way to try to keep getting, keep you playing the game. <laughs> Is, oh, I've gotten all these good pieces of gear, but oh, there could be ancient pieces of gear that are even better, even though they will just have the same stats but bigger numbers. I think it's kind of clever in some ways <laughs> that they, they literally just recycled the exact same pieces but just made the numbers higher. But not only that, but of course then there's variation too, right? So you want to get as close to perfect as possible and... Well, that perfect may be in that case. Well, it'd be max on all the correct stats, right, for that, that item? Yes. These bears don't go very far. They're kind of homebodies. Yeah, I'm finding all kinds of death, like your dudes, like I'm in your base, killing them. Oh, shrine. Some XP. In the worm. First two paragon levels. Yeah, do you think he meant all those things he said? That's pretty rude. He is Lord of Sin, so he is a pretty rude dude. Oh, okay. So being rude is a sin? I would assume so. Alright. Here we go. Hey, look at these dudes. Man, I wonder what they're doing. These poor things live in eternal torment. Oh! You missed her. Oh. Oh well. She's shy. It's uh... This will be a good battle. Patience. I'll see her again someday, probably. Someday. Does she know she She's your girlfriend? Uh, yeah, yeah, clearly. I mean, she's quite hard to get. I mean, that's pretty much a sign that things are going well, you know. But there's some pubuses here now. Yeah, I know, I mean... Oh, you've met my daughters, I see. Are you enjoying your company? Act that interest in her daughter, now she's gonna, now she knows that I'm like... This isn't gonna be weird, right? What? She knows it's not gonna be weird. I'm not gonna ask for some sort of like threesome or something, right? Because that'd be rude, of course. Whoa. Did you like the forge? Oh, is that. <laughs> oh. 
to answer your question, no, as a matter of fact, I did not. I did forget that I could move around as a dead dude, dead spirit, and uh, I did stay in the forge again. Your presence pleases me. Every step brings you closer to my embrace. Whoa, 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 she's a spider? What the fuck? No, go away! No! It's like I thought I'd go back to the daughters of the wings and the hooves. It's less weird somehow. Yes, my dad, what the hell kind of fetish do you have going on here? <laughs> this is, this is, this is not what I, no. Is this, I think it'd be, I, I've been catfished, guys. I've been catfished. The little picture that popped up when she was talking is not the picture when I met her. These dating sites are all the same. <laughs> she just had a lot bigger bottom than you were expecting. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, yes. A few more legs and... The catfish, boys. I mean, that's what I get from the people at work. Talk about how uncomfortable their shoes are, but... All the pain and suffering you're enduring. You must be dying to me. Not anymore, lady. Not anymore. I mean, with all those furnaces around, Zara sure is. Oh, well, hey. Well, that's rude. The spares are just running into the walls. What are you doing to them? Well, I don't know. They're... I'm not sure what's going on. I think I recycle them. I bet they go... I think they come out. And then they go down into the ground again, and they come back out. Like it's like an escalator, basically. An escalator of bears. A bear escalator. It's a thing, right? It is a thing. It is. I'm making it right here. You can see. Oh, frozen is bad. I guess. I got legendary again. Amulet this time. Ooh, this could be good. The chains tear at the Who canceled that? It must have happened as I died. Couldn't save you. you. You can save yourself with those men over there, though. You are so eager. I suppose I should introduce myself. I am Sedea, maiden of Ross, consul of Asmodee. I think that's what you should be. I think her uh, her HP is a bit stuck. She's just I will hang continue out some bears. to fire my lasers. Damn it! Mm, how invigorating. Play with my daughters. I didn't wish to tire you out. <laughs> Got that laugh. Wow. Uh. Uh. I can feel the blood hemorrhaging from the sin heart. Oh, you will pay for this. Now she's gonna start sending us unsolicited nudes as punishment. You love it. I don't. No, yes, not anymore. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Back when I thought she was hot, yes. She shouldn't have posted pics. Shouldn't have done it. Well, she didn't post pics. She met her. Yeah, whatever. Shouldn't have done that either. She just kept it to a. She just kept it to an online relationship. We could have kept talking plenty of fish or whatever the fuck. That's probably where I met her. Way downs over here. Plenty of Nephilim. Yes. So close now. So close. Such innuendo.